guys, let's get into the Southwestern Sweet Potato Bowl. The first thing that you need to do is soak your beans for at least four hours. I highly recommend overnight and then cook them in water. I love to pack in a little more flavor with fresh cilantro, paprika, and onion powder as I cook them. Simply strain your beans using a colander. It's very simple and it takes away any excess liquid that might accumulate in the bottom of your bowl once you build it. While your beans are cooking, you can prep and wash all your vegetables, including the sweet potatoes, both purple and regular, and normal white russet potatoes for this recipe. You will cube them using a really great knife because they can be hard to cut, and then just simply place them on a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Always, always, always roast my potatoes with some fresh chopped cilantro. This cilantro is so incredibly detoxifying. It allows your body to get rid of heavy metals and is something that I use when roasting most vegetables. It is a staple within my diet. sprinkling on some fresh onion powder, smoked paprika, and a few more spices, including a taco seasoning. So if you guys want the full and detailed recipe, simply check out From the Kitchen Recipes at livingholtsaradavis.com. Sweet potatoes and russet potatoes are roasting. Simply prep the rest of your vegetables. I'm using broccoli and an array of other vegetables. I highly recommend always using all the parts of your vegetables when applicable, especially with broccoli. You can use everything up to the stalk, and I go ahead and chop all of that up into small pieces to be a lovely pack of fiber and phytonutrient addition to this dish. Again guys, use whatever vegetables you like. I have used sweet peppers, broccoli, mushrooms, and of course zucchini squash, which is one of my favorites. It adds plenty of bulk to your meals without the added calories and can really fill you up. I start by sauteing onions and these sweet peppers with a little bit of olive oil. You want these fragrant, translucent, and starting to brown. It adds a ton of flavor to the dish. I used to hate onions, but now I actually love them. I'm adding mushrooms as well. These I mushrooms and onions go hand in hand, so it's no wonder I cook them together. But simply saute until translucent and really starting to soften up. to spice up this dish, I'm adding more smoked paprika, garlic powder, and other spices to really give it that southwestern feel. Continue cooking. Add a little dash of water to allow the vegetables to really soften up. This will also assist in cooking your zucchini squash as well as broccoli. So we're going to add that in now once those vegetables have cooked down a little bit and top with broccoli. Allow this to simmer 
uncovered for two to maybe eight minutes depending on how high you have your heat but again we want this at a medium heat continue adding spices I'm adding more taco seasoning to this dish because I really really want it to be flavorful you are now going to cover the dish to allow these vegetables to almost steam cook for five to ten more minutes now I don't let these vegetables cook until they are super soft. I still like a little bit of crunch with my broccoli. So give it a good stir to make sure your vegetables are at a good consistency to your preference. Again, you see me cutting into them. It's just moderate pressure in order to get your broccoli to slice and that is how I like mine. The fantastic thing about this Southwestern sweet potato bowl is that it allows you a lot of freedom in order to create your own dish. So whether you follow this recipe to a T or not, it simply allows you the freedom and the guidelines to create this bowl yourself. Filling your meal prep container can be simple. Put your base ingredients in and then go crazy with the toppings. I added nutritional yeast, salsa, jalapenos, and threw in a handful of greens and sweet peppers in order to pack a more healthful punch. The same goes for at home. If you're making this recipe for dinner in order to pack your meals for the week, simply put it in a bowl, add a base of greens, and then do the same thing with the toppings. You can seriously use this recipe in any way that fits. Guys, this is the first meal prep video for 2019 and I purposefully chose the worst looking meal prep containers in order to show you guys it doesn't matter what you have in your kitchen in your pantry the most important thing is to get started and that is simply by taking and using what you have and so here's to 2019 and starting the year off right with your first section of love your lunches in meal prep series with living whole thank you again for watching you know the jam hit that like and subscribe button share with all your friends so the living whole community can grow as always guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching